right now, I'm gonna show you how to nature journal a crab. First, never turn your back on the ocean. Next, find a crab. Make sure you grab it by the back legs um, like this so it can't reach around and pinch you because you need those fingers for nature journaling. Now, get into a slightly better position for nature journaling. It's good if you get your page all ready to go before you have a big crab in one hand, but in this case, I didn't. So another reason to have a nature journaling kit that's really easy to set up and get ready to go because you might have a crab in one hand and not be able to use two hands or you might have your watercolor palette in one hand, for example. So it's good if you can do this stuff with one hand. And keep one eye on the crab's claws at all times. They live in the intertidal zone where they're subjected to really extreme stresses and um, you know waves and rocks hitting against them and stuff like that. So I feel okay um, picking one up for a little bit to nature journal it. I just, lost, I just launched one of my bulldog flips into the tide pool. So that's a good example of something not working completely perfectly with um, one hand. All right, now I'm in position, and I'm gonna get some quick sketches in first of the things that I can't usually see if I'm not holding a crab. straight in with some sort of bolder drawings, structural, trying to capture some of the structural um, elements of the crab that I find the most interesting. The front might be interesting to look at while you have the live crab here or the behavior. scary looking away from it even for a second because even these back legs can grab on pretty hard and are kind of scary ow look at that this one looks to me like a female it's trying to pull my hands up to the front where it can get them with the claws you can tell this one is a female because of the um this plate right here in the front it's like a diaper looking thing now it blows up in a different way. Okay, so my legs are starting to get kind of tired in this weird crouching position. I should be doing more nature journaling calisthenics. So be prepared to do um, stuff fast if you're a hold, especially if you're holding a live animal and you need to be thinking about that um, thing potentially um, pinching you at any moment. Um, you can also take photos, of course, um, but there is definitely something to be said for nature journaling a crab um, that is alive in your hand. Uh, whoa, scared me. Uh, and doing it um, live. Um, here's some sketches I got. Um, yeah. You know, working straight with ink, all of those things. Oh wow, I'm, I wonder if it's reacting to me talking because it's suddenly starting to move around a lot more. 
All of those things are gonna be um, important for nature journaling a crab. Um, you could also have a small enclosure, like that little um, ter uh, terrarium thing that I take uh, nature journaling in the tide pools. If I had that today, I could put this in there and easily nature journal it for a lot longer. So I'm really wishing I had that, but that's how you nature journal a crab in your hand, in case you were wondering.